Three musicians and a drummer walked into a bar. Let's be honest, we've all had enough of these jokes. We all know that they're not really funny anymore and they're not true anyways. Drummers are musicians and all of us drummers know exactly why and how this is the case. But to those who don't get it or to those who have an unreasonably low appreciation for the drummers in their lives, here's why drummers absolutely are real musicians. Hey everybody, welcome to The Non-Glamorous Drummer. This is a channel that's all about giving you the non-glamorous tips and topics of the trade to teach you the skills that really matter to help you become a better drummer. If you haven't subscribed, I really hope to earn your subscription. All right, first off, our obvious disclaimer, are there drummers out there who aren't musicians? Yeah, probably. There are probably plenty of drummers out there who call themselves drummers, but who just hit things and music doesn't happen. It's very possible that they're playing the drums, but they're just making noise and they're not actually great musicians. But we're not talking about those guys. We're talking about good drummers, drummers who put forth the effort in their playing to work on their craft and who listen to things around them and who really strive to make music hitting the drums. So here we go, five reasons why drummers are real musicians. Number one, dynamics. Having a good dynamic range is an essential musical quality every drummer should possess. And great drummers are able to play well quietly, play well loudly, and are able to transition between those dynamic ranges either throughout a song or throughout a gig, or they're able to totally adjust that dynamic range accordingly, depending on the room or the environment or the sound system or the band, whatever's going on, and so they're flexible in that way. Being able to adjust your dynamics to wherever they need to be, whether it's a crescendo or a decrescendo or staying quiet or staying loud or just playing for the room, that's a very high musician quality that any good drummer has learned how to do, and that definitely makes him a musician. Number two, telling a story. A good drummer tells a story throughout his groove, his, his parts, his fills. Yeah, the singer might be telling a literal story, and that's where the listener's ear is going to go, but our job as a drummer is to support that, and along with the other musicians, to support that story and build moments of tension, build up to a climactic moment, and so that all comes down to playing the right parts, the right grooves, whether it's less notes or more notes, leaving space or filling space, playing this certain fill here, that certain fill there. And it all comes down to knowing the song and understanding the song form, which is a very musical quality. Number three, actively listening. Now, yeah, the drummer's telling a story, but he's not the only one telling a story. We've got all these musicians on stage, whether it's three or four or five or six, however many musicians, including a vocalist maybe, and we have to all work together to tell that story. A good drummer has to be listening to the other parts going on around him so that he or she knows exactly what they need to be playing. For instance, if there are certain key important parts that aren't being played, the drummer might have to make an additional move move to maybe add in that part and maybe play that rhythm to fill that space and help drive the song along the way it needs to be driven. But let's say the musicians around are actually playing too much and people are stepping on each other, there's too much going on. A good drummer is going to know that in that situation, we've got to make the most of a potentially bad situation here, a potential train wreck, and we've just got to play less and just keep time and let the other musicians fill in all of this craziness going on. And so that can go both ways, but it all boils down to listening, actively listening in real time, knowing what's going on around you so that you can make adjustments. That's what a musician does. Number four, and here's a nice, deep, nerdy, musically conceptual topic here. Number four, in tune with melody and harmony. A good drummer is very in tune with the melody, what the vocalist is singing or what the lead riffs are, and the harmony, the chords and the chord changes. Oftentimes the drummer's job is to tie together the harmony and the melody. What I mean by this is that a lot of the parts we'll play will have a lot to do with the chord changes. Like if there's a chord change on the end of two, we might either be accenting that or offsetting it. A lot of the accents and hits and things within a groove are playing off of those chord changes. Now the chord changes are often sort of based off of the melody and are helping to support the melody and the phrasing of that melody and the tension and release that results from the melody. We as drummers have to pay a lot of attention to the melody because we don't want to step on it. We don't want to step on a lead line or step on a vocal and detract from that crucial element of the song. We want everything we do to support that melody, to support the lead riffs, and to support the harmony going on. And so that's why I say we're sort of bridging a gap, fitting in between there. Now, without going into a whole lot of detail here, this is something I think about a lot and something I'm working on in my playing, but it just involves a lot of listening and understanding how the vocalist is phrasing something so that we know when those moments of tension and release are coming, when we know that, okay, we need to build into this and play a fill here because there's tension coming. But then at this part right here, well, the tension's being released, so then maybe we change what we're playing here all the while listening to the other musicians, which goes back to point number three and point number two and paying attention to all of that. So there's a lot of these things that a good drummer has to think about in order to play the right parts. Really, these are the ways that a drummer's coming up with the parts that he's playing. So again, it's all boiling down to 
knowing and understanding the song, which is a very high musical quality. Lastly, it's time to just put an umbrella on this that covers everything and state the obvious point that time and rhythm are musical qualities. And any drummer, even at a basic level, who can play time and who can play rhythm, well, you can't have music without time and rhythm, so there we have it, a musician. I'm not trying to convince you guys that drummers are musicians because I know that you already know that. I'm just helping you to solidify some truths that will hopefully help you shut down a guitar player or a singer who ever tries to tell you otherwise. I guess this video has also been sort of a how to be a good drummer kind of thing because if we really get into a lot of these points, I could make more videos off of each of those points, really digging into the qualities of a good drummer and things that we all need to spend more time working on. But whatever the case, I hope you found this topic interesting and I hope it helped you out in some way, even if it's just to argue against the senseless argument that you're not a musician. So guys, go forth and be the musicians, the musicians that you're called to be. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribers, thank you for supporting the channel and for watching all of my videos. I really appreciate you guys. And hey, before you go, I have something new to give out to you guys. I've created a uh, practicing guide worksheet. It's called Why You're Struggling to Get Better at the Drums, and it literally outlines step-by-step -step the process you can go through to help you make progress day-to-day -day in your practicing. We talk about finding time to practice, if you feel like you have no time, finding what to practice, how to practice it, how to make the most out of your practice time, and eventually how to get more done with less time so practicing efficiently we talk about all that here in this little workbook it's free click on the link in the description go check that out if you feel like you've had any trouble in your playing just making progress every day or knowing what to practice or you feel like you have no time to practice this is for you go check it out i guarantee you it's going to help you out and even if you feel like you've gotten your practicing together and you're able to make some progress hey the booklet's free you've got nothing to lose go check it out maybe you can pick up some extra tips and advice just to help you get even more efficient in your practicing process because we all want to get more done in less time either way click on the link in the description go pick that up it's free i think it'll help you out so guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. I will see you next week. Go click the link in the description.